have reached the Pittsburgh Division of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Thank you for calling the FBI. Please let me confirm the information you've provided us before I proceed with your report. What's your first and last name? Chad, none of the information is correct. Tyler, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? First name is Chad. Yes, sir, I can hear you. Yes, your voice system is impossible, so it got all of my information wrong. I apologize. I can go ahead and correct it. Can I have your last name, please, Chad? H-O-W-E-R. It's like shower without the H or power with an H instead of a P. All right. And then um, your date of birth, I have 67, but it picked up the year 2024. Can I have the year? 1974, and it didn't get the month or the uh, day right either. All right. Can I have that um, correct um, month and day? 1974. All right. Four. Can I have your phone number? Um, I'm calling international, so it's not really going to help. That's okay. We can still take international number. I would prefer not to give my number at this point. All right, that's fine. So for your um, address, I have three three one one Carson Street. No, that's uh, that's your address. That, uh, <laughs> well. I'm calling from a different country and I was just trying to get past your system so I put in the FBI's address. Okay, can I have your current home address, sir? Well, I'm calling from another country and I'd prefer not to give you my home address. All right, that information's fine. I still need a zip code for routing purposes. Were you intending on um, routing into Pittsburgh? Yes, I'm calling Pittsburgh, but the problem is I'm in another country so the zip code I'm going to give you is not going to make any sense anyways. All right, and what's the crime you wanted to report to the FBI today? Well, this is going to sound... Um, can I have a name? Otherwise, I feel like I'm talking to a ghost. Do you have a first name? So, we um, give our ID numbers. Uh, my ID number is 9981. Okay, I'll call you 9 if that's okay. But anyways, so... Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, thank you, 9. So, it'll be like Stranger Things. Instead of 11, you're 9, but okay. <laughs> so, I left the, okay. I left the U.S. early in 2001... And um, I, I've been out of the U.S. for a long time now. And this is going to sound strange, but um, people keep telling me that I'm wanted by the FBI. And there are two other people with the same name as me. And, and I did find someone on your website with my name, but it says they're from Titusville, Pennsylvania. But I've never even spent a single night in Titusville in my life, so I'm certainly not from there. And it's, you know, it's dated 2009, but I left the U.S. in 2001. And the last time I was in the U.S. was June 2006. So how can I find, I mean, it, <laughs> is it me or, you know? So were you able to access, you know, that website? Yeah, I mean, I find, website? Yeah, I find the FBI website. It has a Chad Hauer on there, but it says former Titusville man. And for example, I've never lived in Titusville in my life. I've never even spent a single night there. So, you know, there are two other Chad Howers in the United States. So you you, you know there is two um, other Chad Howers in the United States. Yes, there uh, are. What did it say that um, on the website? What did it say that um, Chad Howard was wanted for? Um, it says kidnapping. Any any specifics with the kidnapping? Well, it says uh, May 12th, 2009, October 15th, 2009. Um, but it doesn't, it just mentions who did it. And, you know, it mentions it has the same middle name as me. So, I mean, I don't know what the other two Chad Howard's middle names are. It has the same middle name as me, but it says 2009. I found some newspaper articles that mention he's accused of kidnapping somebody in November 2006, but I haven't been in the U.S. since June 2006, and it says Pennsylvania. And even in 2006, I was in Boston only for five days because I've lived overseas since 2001. So I, I haven't been in Pennsylvania since at least 2004. So, I mean, but it has my middle name here, but then again, it says former Titusville resident, but I've never ever lived in Titusville. I mean, I've never even spent a single night in that in that town. So 
there are there any pictures with it? No, no pictures at all. Okay, no pictures? No, there's there's no pictures whatsoever on on the website. Oh, you said it was wanted for kidnapping. Have you ever kidnapped anybody? No, I certainly have not kidnapped anyone. I think I would remember that. saying it's you or people threatening you? Well, I mean, I keep getting people coming up to me and saying that, you know, did you know you're wanted by the FBI, which is curious to me because I've lived outside the U.S. I mean, I left in early 2001 mm-hmm. and I've, you know, since then I've been yeah. in Cuba and Russia and so, <laughs> but I'm kind of afraid to travel now because, you know, people are telling me that I have an Interpol red notice and I talk to Interpol and they won't tell me anything. And I, I'm kind of afraid to travel because I, I don't want to get arrested. Okay, Are, were you intending on traveling? Well, you know, I do need to go to Europe and things like that. I mean, <laughs> I'm in Russia and I, I, I need, you know, go to Europe. Okay, so, um, so with that, you said this person has the same name, same does it have a date of birth or anything? No, it doesn't. It just, but it has the same middle name as me. But again, it says Titusville, but I, I've never lived in Titusville. Yeah. Right. I mean, I've never, I've never even spent a single night in Titusville. I know where Titusville is, but yeah. I mean, I've, I've, <laughs> I've not even yeah. spent a single night there ever. So, you know, I mean, could okay. the FBI have made a mistake? So could, they, is, could they have put the wrong middle name up there? I mean, could they have the wrong person? I, I just, I'm, I'm really confused here. And I'm really concerned about traveling because it's interfering with jobs and things too. Because I'm, when I apply for a job, they're like, well, you're wanted by the FBI. And I'm like, uh, I am. And, you know, it's, it's really causing a lot of problems. So you, when they, they said when you, you, you applied for jobs, said that you were wanted by the FBI? Well, they, they Google me. So, of course, you know, any modern job application, okay. they're, they're going to Google. And so it, they put in my name and the FBI website comes up. And that's kind of causing me a lot of employment problems. Okay. Okay. Can I put you in a brief hold, sir? Yes. Hi, thank you so much for holding. I just want to, you know... I just want to get some more questions about the situation. So, okay. so people are telling you this. How are people telling you this? Well, you know, when I go for job interviews, they they run background checks and it comes up and okay. you know things like that. And it's just kind of getting around the, the network. There's not as many. There's only so many English speakers. When you live in a foreign country, the English speakers all kind of talk, and so yeah. you know, now it's all over the English speaking community here, and you know. Any that? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say anything that I'm scared of, but, you know, people are like, you know, I can turn you in. Is there money? Uh, I don't know. It's, but, you know, I mean, nobody's like threatened to physically hurt me, but people have said, I don't know. I don't know. They're probably just joking. So. Okay. People threaten to, tr- people threaten to turn you in for money. Yeah. So, um. Based on everything that you're telling me, um, you know, I, this does seem a little bizarre, but we can't give any, you know, information out. If you are wondering if you are wanted, um, we do have the division of the FBI that handles, you know, backgrounds and everything. I can give you their number, but I will, they are out of, um, the same building we are. Mm -hmm. Um, they can't, um, they're not in right now, but they might be able to give you information related to background. Okay. Um, can I go ahead and uh, give you their number? Yes, of course. Their number is 304. 615. Is it still 412? Is it still 412? No, the, the area code is 304. Oh, okay. 304. Okay. Okay, and will they be able, because as I understand, warrants are public, but I don't have access to look up a warrant. So, I mean, I'm just looking for, am I wanted? Yes or no. I mean, will they be able to tell me that or? 
is kind of scary. They having, might be, you know, be able to keep, yes, I, I absolutely understand. They, uh, since they handle, um, anything related to backgrounds, they might be able to give you more information about that. Mm -hmm. um, if we need to reach out to you, do, you, do you still have the international phone number in case we need to get in contact with you? Well, as you can understand, I'd prefer not to give my phone number out. If I'm wanted, I don't want to, I mean, <laughs> even if it's a mistake or something, I'd prefer not to give my phone number right now. <laughs> I'm already nervous as it is. Yeah, I, I understand. So I'll get this uh, information document and I'm I apologize that you're encountering, you know, this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, that division of the FBI might be able to give you better answers. Um, but I know, that I understand that there is information on, you know, public. If there is, you know, a wanted seeking information for the FBI, mm -hmm. um, was there, was, was that, was anything of that related to you? Well, I mean, I wasn't in the United States at the time, so, and I'm not from Titusville, yeah. so it, it's, yeah, yeah. but yeah. what are the, I, I, I but what are the chances of, you know, what are the chances of one of the other Chad Howers having the, the same middle name? And the other thing that's concerning is it doesn't have a birth date, but it does say age 34 and it's in, that was in 2009 and I was 34 in 2009. So is this other person the same age as me? Because the other Chad Howers, as far as I know, are... Um, not the same age of me and more concerning is one of them is dead he died in a, in a, in a car accident so okay so there, there, are there any kind of you know descriptors I'm familiar with you know some of those posters that say are there any, any descriptors do you have any you know tattoos that might match anything yeah I have a tattoo but it doesn't mention anything about the tattoo on the website but I do have a tattoo I have a phoenix on my arm related to that might be um, online mm -hmm. um, so, it, 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 so I, I just want to make sure make sure I have it right so it was for um, it was in Titusville and you haven't visited Titusville well I mean I have visited Titusville but not since the 1990s but it says that it says I'm a former Titusville resident and I've never even spent a night there I mean I've driven through it I used to work for PNC Bank but that was in the 1990s But I've never lived there. I mean, I've never even spent a single night there. I don't think I've ever spent more than maybe one or two hours in Titusville. And it was only because I worked for PNC Bank. And every Friday in 19, I worked for PNC Bank in like 1993. And every Friday I would go to Titusville to pick up um, documents from the bank. But I would just, I would come from Cory. I would go to Titusville, pick up the documents, and then I would go back to okay. Erie. So I don't think that make does that make me a resident okay. if I drive through Titusville every Friday? Am I a, am I a resident? So yeah, I wouldn't. You know, I, I you know if you just drove through there every Friday, I wouldn't be able to say that that's a resident. Mm -hmm. But um, do you have do you know anybody in Titusville like a anybody who lives there? No, no, no. I mean, I'm 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 from Erie. Okay. I mean, one of the other Chad Howards does live in Pennsylvania, okay. but he doesn't live in that area either. I don't remember okay. where he lives, but he's somewhere in Pennsylvania. And he's not the one that's dead. The one that's okay. dead is in Indiana. Was well, he's not in it. I guess he is because he's in he's in buried. But he was in Indiana or Illinois. But the other Chad Howard is in Pennsylvania somewhere, but not. I don't think he's in that area. He's somewhere in the southern part of Pennsylvania. I don't know him. I just, you know, when you have the same name as someone else, you kind of bump into each other online. Yeah, yeah, I understand. So, with everything that you're telling me, you're just trying to get clarification. The, um, the other division of the FBI might be able to provide you more information related to background. Mm -hmm. um, they would, um, they might be able to answer your questions but you can also call um the fbi pittsburgh i understand that you tried to contact them but it is after their hours okay um you know if that's the um division that titusville is out of uh -huh. they might be able to give you more information as well i would actually suggest contacting them first okay but are um, you not fbi pittsburgh because I, I called them. pittsburgh oh so what you've reached today is the national Center operations center we intake for all the field offices after 
you know, after hours oh, while okay. they can take the phone calls. Mm-hmm. Um, I understand. Anytime, you know, it's not regular business hours. Um, mm-hmm. We're intake for, you know, crime just because. Okay. Yeah. If, they, if they can't, if, they're, if there's nobody there, we'll, we take it. We're, we're out of headquarters. We, mm-hmm. we are solely intake. Okay. So you're not so they like... might be able to, um, you know, give you a better answer. Um, I know that we can't give out information, but mm-hmm. they might be able to give you more information than I can. And then I gave you the number for the FBI that does um, background. Okay. And what what are their hours? So uh, let me pull it up. Give me one second. All right, so we have the um, number 400. I apologize. I have okay. I have a spreadsheet and I'm mm-hmm. struggling finding it. Okay, so their hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Okay, and that's Eastern time, correct? And yeah, 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 that, yeah that is Eastern time. I did want to clarify that because you did say, you know, in Russia, Eastern time. Um, yeah. I would um, suggest you call first thing in the morning. That's the best time. Um, that's the best time for them to be contacted. That's usually when the call volume is the lowest. Okay. They would be able to give you any information, um, or they should be able to give you any information or more information than I could. Okay. And the number you gave me, it, it'll go to someone else so that I can actually get to Pittsburgh then, correct? Yeah. The, uh, that number I gave you that... Um, 412-432-4000 is Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. but the number I gave you is um, the background division of headquarters. Okay. Um, they should be able to um, maybe give you information you know, if Pittsburgh couldn't. I would call Pittsburgh first. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they um, yeah they might give you they might give you more information. That's just the the background, like any issues with background. Okay. Um, just you know, to your priority. Okay. Well, hello from Moscow. Yeah, so. Was that everything I can give you, sir? Yeah, just hello from oh, Moscow cool. and hello thank you for. From, uh, hello from headquarters. <laughs> and thank you for your help, Nine. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, goodbye. All right, thank you so mm-hmm. much, sir. I hope you have a good rest of your night. You too. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye.